about the biggest moments here. What was your pick for? The, well, I think it's obvious at this point. It had to be Parasite as far as the film. But what else did you see that caught your eye? Well, look, I mean, what a night. And you're right, Parasite, it was their night. I mean, we kind of expected that they would be getting, you know, best original screenplay and best international film. But to pick up best director and best picture, I mean, was phenomenal. I think uh, if anyone saw the telecast last night, you saw at the end of the show there, the producers thought, well, we've run along enough now. Let's dim the lights and, and turn up the music. Well, the audience was not having it. They wanted to hear from the folks at Parasite, and so they should. And when you've got A-listers like Tom Hanks and Charlize Theron sitting there in the front row saying, you know, turn it up, turn right. it up, bring it back up, bring up the lights, well, the producers of the Academy had to listen, right. and they did. And it was great. And, you it know, we got to great. hear that, that extended speech from, from one of his... Right, from one of his cast. I think she almost stole the show. We're talking about his crazy hair. Well, you know, Bong Joon-ho, I interviewed him on the red carpet, and I said to him, I'm going to tell you, not since Slumdog Millionaire have I seen a movie this complete. It is, if you have not seen it, <laughs> it's brilliant. I'm, it's nothing, I mean, it, it's incredible. All right, so Brad Pitt had been like, killing it with his speeches, raking up awards. Everyone was wondering, um, Carl, if Brad... Uh, had been writing his own speeches or if he had a ghostwriter because they've been so funny. He took a much more serious turn last night uh, when he accepted his Oscar. I wanted to look back, but this has made me do so. And I, I think of my folks taking me to the drive-in to see Butch and Sundance and loading up my car and moving out here and Gina and Ridley giving me my first shot to all the wonderful people I've met along the way to stand here now. Once upon a time in Hollywood, ain't that the truth? <laughs> Oh, so sweet. Yeah, once upon a time in Hollywood, and you know, we're standing right here on Hollywood Boulevard, too. I mean, it's amazing how quickly this all comes down. You were just on the other side of that tent, my dear, but yeah, I am standing here looking at the Hollywood Walk of Fame and those stars, and so many people like Brad Pitt come out here to make it, and what a speech he gave. He wasn't the only one that gave a rather unique speech last night. There were a few other ones as well. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, I have to say congratulations on getting the best actor, but... What was that speech? I missed it. I was on the plane. And I, what, what did he say? Well, I got a little <laughs> bit lost. It sort of, I think when he talked about, I, I, know, I know that he's a vegan, but <laughs> when he talked about the baby cow and the milk, I had to look around and go, sorry, what did I miss? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to now. I don't have the tape, but now I'm going to look it up at home. All right, I do have a tape, though, that will warm Check all... it out. Check I, it out on YouTube. I, 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 no, I'm not. But I, <laughs> but, but I will tell you, I want you to check out something. Matthew Cherry, uh, he was on our show last week, one of the creators of Hair Love, animated short, won the Oscar last night uh, with Karen Tolliver. We've been rooting for Matthew and Karen from the very beginning. This is a special message. I haven't even seen it. We just got in from them. Take a look. Hey, Tamron, we did it. We're so excited. This means so much to us. Yeah, this really feels like a dream. Uh, thank you for all your support and for showing love to Hair Love. Thanks so yes. much. I'm so happy for them! Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I can't let you go up before learning what happened at the Vanity Fair party because you were able to stick around. You live in L.A. What's the scoop on the party? Well, I mean, to be fair, I haven't been to bed yet because I was at the Vanity Fair party. You know, one of the funniest people in the business, Tiffany Haddish, stopped by, and she told me how she gets her Vanity Fair party on. Take a listen. This year is uh, dance, dance, talk to people, dance, water, vodka, dance, dance, vodka, water, go home. Oh, it's just one round. I got to go to work tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> 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 we, we love Tiffany Haddish, but we also we also love Jeff Goldblum, who yes. was very complimentary to me. Take a listen to this. Oh boy! Look at his eyebrows; they do are. Do you want fantastic. to touch them? Yes, I do. Touch my eyebrows, Jeff. Goldblum. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now this is with the grain. This yeah. is against the grain. Oh, oh boy! Your hands, your fingers are so soothingly cool. <laughs> sure, they are. I, I chill them like champagne glasses. <laughs> you know what? Okay, Carl. There you go.